Merry Christmas, and welcome to this special day of celebration with Central United Methodist Church in Traverse City. I'm Pastor Chris. I'm Pastor Linda. We are delighted to be in worship with you today as we welcome Christ's light entering again our hearts, our homes, and our world. So whether you're overwhelmed this season with family or maybe spending days in quieter reflection, we want you to know you are never alone. God is with us, mm. gentle and welcoming and laying in a manger. The most insignificant and smallest of creatures carrying with us all hope of eager expectation. Offering light for us all. The gift of today is a chance to witness and worship and celebrate with the United Methodists from across the state of Michigan, bearing witness to our connection together as a church. Singing carols and hearing those old familiar stories. But we want you to know our normal in-person and online services will resume next week that start at 8 a.m., 9 a.m., and 11 a.m. here in Traverse City. Um, for now, wherever we are, we are gathered. We are ready. Let us worship. Close to home. Merry Christmas, Michigan United Methodists. I hope you have experienced the joy of this season with the good news of God's love coming to us in Jesus deeply, profoundly, and often. I hope this morning's worship service will be another time when that good news touches your heart and soul. As a conference, we wanted to offer a special morning worship service for this Sunday after Christmas. It is a traditional service of lessons and carols proclaiming in word and music the joyful message of Christmas. Each of our nine districts provided readers and musicians for this service, and I am grateful to all who have worked to bring this worship experience together. I invite you to join me in prayer as we begin. Let us pray. Gracious God, the story of Christmas is full of sweetness and light, and many of us bring to it warm memories of Christmas's past, gently falling snow, the smells of a feast, a special gift, family gathered. So nice is all this that we are often tempted to wrap the story up and store it away like some precious ornament. Yet this is not just a once a year story to be unwrapped with decorations or gifts. This story is meant to give us courage and resilience for all of life, day in and day out. You are a God who comes near, not just when all is well, but also when life is hard and the world seems out of order. You come near to enfold us in love and to help bring to birth in each of us new life and new hope. You come near to give us courage to work with you toward the birth of a newer world. We are here to receive you. We are here to be changed. We are here to share your light and love with the world, telling the story in word and deed from mountain and valley. As we worship today in word and music, enfold us in your grace and empower us by your spirit. In Christ, amen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And the Word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen His glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. No one has ever seen God. It is God the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made Him known.
Hear these words of comfort and hope from Isaiah, the 52nd chapter, verses 7 through 10. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voices. Together they sing for joy. For in the plain sight they will see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. From the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 15 through 21. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. And so they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. After eight days had passed, it was time to circumcise the child, and he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Oh 
was greenish, with and from Swedish, while shepherds watch our king. The fourth lesson, Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord for he commanded and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He fixed their bounds, which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling his command. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for his people Praise for all his faithful, for the people of Israel who are close to him. Praise the Lord.
From Psalm 98. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our Lord. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of horn. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who live in it. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills sing together for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the people with equity. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive a king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let all their songs implore. Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat, repeat the sounding joy, 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 Never let 
Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these days, he has spoken to us by a son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom he also created the worlds. He is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very being, and he sustains all things by his powerful word. When he had made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father.
a reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. In Christ we have also obtained an inheritance, having been destined according to all things according to his counsel and will, so that we who were the first to set our hope on Christ might live for the praise of his glory. In him you also, when you had heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and had believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance toward redemption as God's own people to the praise of his glory. Now every year, his parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up as usual for the festival. When the festival was ended and they started to return, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Assuming that he was in the group of travelers, they went a day's journey. Then they started to look for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem to search for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Child, why have you treated us like this? Look, your father and I have been searching for you in great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you searching for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in years and in divine and human favor. Christ is born. 
Friends, if your local church is broadcasting this worship service as the regular Sunday worship, please pause here and give thanks for the hard work of your pastor, staff, and worship leadership. I hope they were able to enjoy some extra time with their families today. And if this is your local church worship service, I trust you will continue to support your congregation through your gifts and offerings. If you're not a part of a congregation, but have worshiped with us today, we're so glad you did. I hope you will connect with a local United Methodist Church. We'd be delighted to meet you. You can find a nearby United Methodist Church here in Michigan on our website, michiganumc.org. While you're there, I hope you might consider making a gift to the Bishop's Advent Appeal. All monies collected through this offering will go toward disaster relief here in Michigan, throughout the country, and all over the world. Thank you. Now may the love that came down at Christmas, God's love, warm your heart, enliven your mind, encourage your soul. May God's love meet you at the intersection of your hopes and fears to increase your hope and give you both courage and peace. Merry Christmas, blessed new year, all in the name of Jesus Christ.